All right, y'all, what's going on? Reporting here from near Pittsburgh. Uh, it's my new house. Don't really want to show the whole thing, but it is what it is. I had a little Keebler village before, a little tiny house, and it was time to upgrade. It's hard to have two kids, a wife, and me in three cars at a house that is only 630 square feet that's like worse than a two-bedroom apartment basically or about the size of a two-bedroom apartment if you didn't include the uh detached garage but anyway so i'm in my garage right now it's uh also one stall as you can see i still haven't unpacked everything damn it i got tools and engine parts and Honda parts and all kinds of shit also got about four sets of wheels and tires in the basement and yeah it's been a process anyway uh, just wanted to give you all an update uh, well I'm gonna flip it around but here's the Civic yep covered in freaking snow and ice of course gotta love it uh, good old Pennsylvania and uh, I wanted to give a shout out to those in uh, Texas and Oklahoma and I got a lot of friends down there uh, worked in the oil field for quite a few years so I still have a lot of friends family that live down in Texas and Kilgore and Longview and Kennedy Houston I mean a lot of friends that still live down there They've been telling me some of their issues they've been dealing with lately. Uh, plus, I, I don't work in the oil field anymore, but I do still work in the natural gas industry. So I have been hearing some stories about the shortages of natural gas and electricity going on down there. And I mean, I know y'all really aren't set up to deal with it like we are. We haven't gotten it as bad as y'all have, but, you know, my heart goes out to y'all. Shout out to my Texas and Oklahoma brethren. Anyway, uh, yeah, just giving y'all an update video. I know it ain't much, you know. It's been freezing ass cold up here, so I've been able to do a whole lot. You can see old girls dirty. Uh, I mean, I wash it once a week as as much as I can, but you know. Pennsylvania and the middle of winter and it's getting worse it's supposed to start to get better next week but you know we're supposed to get anywhere from 5 to 7 tomorrow from what I'm hearing so if that's the case that's going to suck for me because I didn't work Monday or Tuesday because of the weather and where we're working so if uh, we get anything close to what they're predicting for tomorrow or forecasting for tomorrow then I'm gonna be out another third day of pay anyway uh, enough of the gloomy shit well girls been running good uh, changed up a couple things um, I repainted the upper intake manifold and the cap on the plenum and as you can see Obviously, it doesn't match my powder-coated valve covers, but, I mean, hey, sometimes the hood just don't fit with an engine swap. Anyway, yeah, she's been running good, you know, hauls ass. I mean, it's fun having a boosted V6, what can I say? It was fun having a boosted force on there. It's even more fun to have something with more displacement. Anyway, uh, yeah, you can see my K-Tune coilovers there. Love those coilovers. I mean, they're expensive, man, but if, if y'all can afford them, they're some of the best, in my opinion. I couldn't really afford them, but I bought them anyway. <laughs> some JNC wheels. Once again, not the best, but I like the look of them. 
the car, the majority of the car is green now, but it will eventually all be Nighthawk Black Pearl, which I already painted the roof and the trunk. And yes, I know, you don't have to tell me that looks like shit. So does that, but I mean, Pennsylvania. We in the Rust Belt here. By the way, if y'all would like, uh, y'all live anywhere near Pittsburgh and uh, you need any powder coating done, hit up After Hours Powders and ask for Chris. That's their phone number right there. They're on Facebook too, After Hours Powders. Hit them up. So, yeah, I mean, still exactly the same as it was outside. Still looks like a bag of shit. There's my new sticker. Yeah, I know. And there's another new sticker. I'm not really much of a sticker guy, but I like the funny shit, I guess you could say. Uh, I'll give you a startup real quick. So y'all can hear what it sounds like. I don't remember if I started it in the last video or not, but I got rid of the catalytic converter since then. Uh, I got a GFB electronic boost controller, GForce 3, and then yeah, AEM, UEGO, boost gauge in the middle, and oil pressure on the end. Actual Nardi wheel. It's cold here and the car's not fully tuned so don't really know what to do right now but it's running all right that uh uego seems to be a little finicky until the car warms up Show y'all rear end view. Wish I could have somebody here to help me so y'all could actually hear me rev this thing up. Because it sounds pretty damn good. It's a little loud, but it don't sound bad. Once again, it's all two and a half inch exhaust. NVIDIA N1, cat back. It's another damn $800. <laughs> That's the price of modifying your car, right? That's almost as much as I spent on this thing when I first bought it. Anyway. Like I said, y'all, just wanted to give you an update. You know, I know I don't post that often. I'm sorry. I'm a family man. I've got two kids, two boys. They're about to turn 12 and 9 this year. Seabon Carbon Fiber Hood. You know. And, uh, yeah, just want to give y'all an update. Hope everybody out there is doing well. You know, keep on keeping on. Do the damn thing. Alright, y'all. Peace out.